Oh, right. I'm going to do a video here. Um, I did a video like this, and there was somebody that, you know, they don't even respond back. They're either a bot, they find you by algorithm or whatever, these YouTube moderators. That one, Mike McGoo or whatever the fuck he was, I did a video flipping him off and accused me. Oh, this is what happens when you're on drugs, folks. And I'm like, oh, you're on drugs because you make the best piece and you're not a racist and you work with, have good friends that are black and you have uh, friends of all kind of other races. And you live your life not to be accused and you have some of your best friends can be black, the best people that work next to you are black. And you've got to watch out for a shit starter that tries to turn your friends against you, whether they're the same race as you or another race. If you, you believe that, whether you're black or white, I believe it applies. Oh, and you're on drugs. Oh, really? Really? But anyway, it's, this is not about that. Um, I, I have another, like, one incident i got to talk about here. This is, like, crazy, and, and this happened to me once. Like I said, I work with well, I worked under a couple of the coolest black women. I work for a charity when I'm not working during the winter, and I like it a lot, you know. And a couple friends, both uh, both black and white, wonderful people. One guy was out there singing all that. Okay, so what I noticed that I, there's some of the best people that are uh, in a world that are uh, another race. We all have them, right? But you got a jealous asshole that tries to be a shit starter. I had it happen to me like uh, one day, you know. I mean, hey, I got friends right now. I say hi to, and man, I'm either on a bus or going to do some shopping or I'm doing something, man. And you got these black friends, you and them are bullshit and joking around. And uh, but there's a one shit starter, like once, like for one thing, you know, we have an elevator in our building, right? And sometimes I get an elevator with a person. Sometimes I don't. A lot of times, just my some of my best friends I talk to most. At the top, I'm going right in the elevator with them, but usually the ones I know, you know, and but there are some days I don't go in an elevator right away. If it's somebody I just see around, I don't maybe they don't feel like me getting in the elevator. But we got a big one elevator on one side that's bigger for the guys, people in wheelchairs, and we got a little elevator that's I don't know. You see somebody, and whether they're male or female, maybe you don't you can say, Oh, you mind if I go in this time? I didn't because and uh, at the same time. I have my videos for my cooking show, and I was cooking for a thing, and I could, I could testify to this here. The kind of peppers I used, there were medium hot peppers, and I made these stuffed peppers, and I used lots of garlic in there. I made a video about it. And I had some serious garlic breath. So this, you know, this other person I don't know was a woman. I didn't get in there with her. I just wait to the next elevator, you know what I mean? I don't know, something about it, you know, I know I have... I don't know if it was one of my best friends in there. I was, I'd probably be joking, getting there with them all. Ooh, my breath or whatever. You know, I smell a lot of garlic. But anyway, this dude, I usually see this older dude around all the time. You know, we don't hardly talk, you know, just cordial. He goes out of nowhere and says, uh, why don't you get in the elevator? She won't bite you. And I says, I go, uh, and, and he goes, uh, you need to grow out of that shit. And I could have just not paid any attention, ignored him. Something told me it was better off that I did. Because when people are in this, I don't know, in some kind of mood, they're probably in a bad mood about something or maybe a little drunk, I don't know. Or, you know, you got this, but you got that person once in a while that's kind of your friend. Maybe he drinks a little bit and you ignore him. He says some kind of stuff. But anyway, I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, you're racism. I'm like, what racism? Excuse me? And, uh... And I'm trying to tell him, uh, what the hell's the difference? And, uh, I, I'm trying to tell him, hey, I, you got, you know damn well, I work for a charity. I do all kinds of things. I got friends in this building and friends in places. And you know, and, I, and I'm like, I try to say, like, you know damn well, because you see me and you probably know the same people I know. I couldn't even get those words in. He's yelling like a raving maniac, you know. Well, both black or white people have them old men. Matter of fact, you know, my stepfather, I give you a video about my stepfather. It's... I don't know if you're black or white watching, you may have this father or stepbrother, father or stepfather, and know this old man that's the same race as you, whether it's a relative. It's fucking impossible, right? When they want to say something, they're just a, st a stubborn old man want to pick a fight. My stepfather was like that, you know? Once in a while, in a certain mood, he was in a foul mood, he was fighting with my mother. He'll, I got would be another story because. Some of his friends that from town, you know, I'd say that later on, that putting things in his head and 
I can make a video about gang stalking for that. But anyway, you've got a couple people with other views. You can't call it gang stalking, right? And there's no trouble. There's no racism or any other thing. But you get a person that might be uh, in the shadows trying to plant things about you. And you've got a few friends and maybe they're not totally buying into it. So they decide to look for a reason to start shit and all that. And they're mad because you could tell maybe something that they're trying to say ain't sticking. So they lash out and take it out on you or whatever. And even if they're telling other people shit like that and not giving you a chance to defend yourself, you know, I mean, what the fuck, you know? Uh, and uh, there are some, I mean, there are people out there that just despise that, you know, you have like friends somewhere and they can't accuse you of shit. And this is not about attacking anybody else's race. Like people have the, I'm and on the contrary, just because maybe you have some of your best friends that are a different color as you. Well, fuck my, one of my ex neighbors, um, married a Mexican and he's a hell of a nice guy. You know what I mean? Uh, but you get these people that, uh, that they're just so pissed off that they can't get shit on you or whatever the hell. Or at the very least, they're acting on some he said, she said shit or whatever. You know what I mean? And, uh, but, you know, I, but it's just, uh, yeah. But they hate your guts when you uh, do something positive where there's a diverse amount of people in there and they know you've got involved in something positive. Like, and I believe too, whether whatever or what color you are, you get involved in something good around a diverse amount of people that everybody's friends and joke around. That's your best protection from people's bullshit. You know what I mean? And you get somebody, they're, they're like devils, you know, they're uh, they want to undermine that. Uh, matter of fact, I got in fights with my own mother and own family members that they get mad when you even say uh, that you go and do stuff so you can't be accused because some of us from when we were, the minute we're young, you're either slapped around, people sticking their finger in your face telling you what you better do and telling you take responsibility for this and that. And there's a thing I talk about in a video later, and this is for everybody, like how you're either initiated or broken and groomed in where you literally, literally start from a child that, um, whether you did something or not, there's a thing, they send you to school just to get you out of the house, but yet there's this thing, don't get smart. Then you get people you work next to that are supervisors, bosses over you. They stick in your finger and threatening this and that, you're gonna be destitute if you don't shut the fuck up. You. Uh, Listen, do not talk, listen, and this is how it is, and you don't make your case, you don't have, you have no rights. Yes, it happens because you're black, it happens because you have a po you're like me and have a ponytail, and it happens because maybe you're black and you have, or a different ethnic background and have dreadlocks, you know what I mean? You, know, you got people around, small groups of people, the old school religious fanatics of all races that they don't like ponytails and they don't like people who have dreadlocks and shit like that. Um, you got, it goes, it goes on, you know what I mean? You get, there was back in the day where you were uh, threatened with this and that, you know, uh, cause some of your parents were in the era where they would send, yeah, you, you need to, we're going to send you to psychiatrist and, they did that too. If you weren't with the Catholic Church as a kid, you know, and, and go to the church or read the Bible, believe like they did, they could throw you in the mental hospital until you uh, cave to their ways. I remember my grandmother used to, she was from the era where, oh, they're going to, you, you don't act, don't act like it's, they're going to send you to Dixmont and uh, look up Dixmont. Dixmont was like, say, 20 miles from where I live. The building doesn't stand anymore, but they used to put people on there, use medications and shock treatment to burn their brains out. And then you could be sent in there to be pub be punished. Yes, you could be black, you can be white, people outspoken. And by the time they put them meds that they were experimenting in time, or the shock treatment, you'll be making these retarded faces. You'd literally be looking like 
because shock treatment did to your brain, fuck your brain up. And the older meds, they did it on purpose, put people in straight jackets just to, yes, it happened because you're black and you can be white and you, you're, not, you're outspoken about this and that, or you don't, yeah, I can uh, be off the subject and go on, you know what I mean? And, and now there's a different ways of walking around and conducting yourself. You can get harassed and you're supposed to be pushed into fetal position. Psycho, you can be psychically, psychologically uh, forced into a um, fetal position. Oh my God, I might be racist just for when I walk in an elevator or walk in here, this and that. And if you let that shit go, you know, uh, you know, that's fucked up.